So first of all, when UMEDSAT launches a new spacecraft, it's first to ensure continuity of an operational service. So that's valid for all our launches. Uh, in that case, the first uh, MetUp spacecraft was launched in 2006, has now exceeded its design lifetime. And of course, the probability of failure increases beyond the lifetime. And we are also lacking a bit of fuel to perform certain maneuvers which uh, are essential for delivering the best of the spacecraft. So we definitely need to launch uh, method B now. There are two important aspects uh, for internal co international cooperation for this program, EPS, the UMEDSAT Polar System. First, cooperation on the development of our own system. And this is cooperation with ESA, CNES and NOAA to some extent. And the other element of cooperation is operational cooperation with NOAA, with the US, because METOP is part of a joint integrated polar orbiting system shared with the Americans. So we have one European satellite and we have one US satellite on different orbits. And of course, we get extra benefit through exchange of data and products and cross operational support. For instance, we acquire data from the US satellite, they do the same, and uh, it improves the timeliness of data delivery. You know, the cooperation with ESA is based on a very robust model, which was established uh, some, uh, with, with Meteosat second generation. So uh, the basics is that we do not duplicate competence. They develop a new satellite based on our requirement, and we develop all the other elements of the systems. The ground segment, we procure the launch services and we prepare the operations to extract products and deliver information to our users. So the first element is no duplication. Uh, they also procure on our behalf the recurrent spacecraft because, and this is the value of this model, we procure a number of spacecraft at once, which means that we have very attractive costs for the recurring spacecraft. The other important aspect of this cooperation is that, you know, meteorology is driven by the progress of science and technology. If you want to do better forecast, you need better observation. And we am, when you embark for a program of 20 years of observation, as we do as an operational agency, you need to have innovative system from the start because you need to make sure that the systems remain useful at the end of the life cycle, meaning 20 years from now. And here the capability of ESA for innovation is absolutely critical. And if you take METOP, for instance, we have now the benefits of this innovation because uh, we can measure the impact of METOP B data on forecasts. And we can say now that this impact, this positive impact, is almost three times more uh, positive than uh, the impact of satellites from the previous generation as, as operated by the US. So as you see, this model is bringing innovation into an operational system for the benefit of users.